Hello everyone, it's Anna here from Armada Planner. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do my monthly planning. So let's get started. First thing first, let's put on some music to get myself into the planning mood. So here begins the first step of my monthly planning routine. Here I have a large notebook from Muji to brain dump all the to-do lists for the month. I prefer to brain dump in a large book or page so that I don't feel restricted while writing. My way of brain dumping is by listing all parts of my life such as family, health, finance at the beginning of the process. Some people prefer to categorize all of their lists um, after the process but for me it helps brain dumping much more easier because the categories act as a guide or a reminder for me and it is easier for me to see what parts of my life that I need to focus on for that month. This brain dump process took me approximately like 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see I'm doing here, sometimes I do refer to my inbox to recall the tasks that I haven't completed from previous month and see which category it falls under so that I can list it again in my brain dump. Okay, so I have finally listed out all of the to-do list that I could think of doing under each category. So now I'm done with brain dumping and the to-dos, I'll transfer them into my pocket rings but I'll do that a bit later. In the next process, I'm going to set my goals for the month. But first, I'm going to remove the page marker from my monthly calendar from the previous month to the current month. Okay everyone, so we are now going to begin with the monthly goal setting process. So whenever I try to set goals for each month, I try to make it at most 3 goals so that I can be more focused and won't get overwhelmed. As you can see here, I did not set any goals for me. So we are gonna to do that and set some goals for June. Actually, since 2019, I never miss setting a goal, at least one goal for each month. So probably because of the pandemic, so I'm not in the mood to set any goals and I'm happy that I'm doing it now. So how about you guys, my planner friends? Do you set your goal every month? What is your goal this month? Now goal setting is done. So we are now moving on to the second last step of my monthly planning routine. Okay, for this step, I'm going to transfer some of the brain dump to-do list I did at the beginning of the video inside my inbox. Why do I say some? It's because some of the tasks I wrote during the brain dump were already in my inbox. Which means those are the tasks that I haven't got them done yet. But I still wrote them during the brain dump process because I want to remember what I need to do. For example, in the study section of my brain dump, I wrote to read thesis. But the task actually has been there in my inbox for months already. So I will not be writing them again in the inbox because it's already there. You might also notice that at the beginning of the video, during the brain dump process, I referred to my pocket ring planner once. 
I did that because I want to recall all the tasks I haven't completed yet and rewrite it again during the brain dump. My way of doing this process seems repetitive but I believe that it helps me in a way that it reminds me what I should do because there are so many things that need to be done but sometimes I might forget some of the things especially the small small tasks that that actually needs attention but you forgot about them to me brain dump is a process of thinking and recalling the tasks that you need to do so feel free to refer to your inbox or even your monthly calendar to remind you of the things that you need to get done okay we are done and for the final step i'll be showing you in the second part of this video so thank you for watching and see you bye